Okay, let's see if we can define what hospice care is under three minutes. You ready? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go right now. Ready? Ready, set, go. Hospice. What is hospice? Defined as less than six months or less to live, the doctor evaluates you and says, this is what I'm seeing. Nobody knows when someone will pass away, but the doctor says, okay, I think you have six months or less to live. I think you can get a hospice evaluation. So what does that mean? The doctor then writes an order, and then you get to decide which hospice you want to actually interview or do a hospice 101. That order is then sent to the hospice. Then the hospice comes and sends a nurse out, or sometimes a social worker, to do an evaluation and to write consents. And really, they should be educating you on what hospice is. Hospice is really there to help you make sure you're comfortable, maintain, and regain your quality of life. So the nurse comes in there and educates you on the services. Medicare Part A covers hospice 100%, right? So now there's no out-of-pocket cost for you. If you qualify for it after that evaluation, then the nurse comes in. You get a team of people around you. So you've got nurses, you've got aides that can come out sometimes five times a week, um, depending on the agency. Uh, you've got a chaplain. The chaplain is really there as a spiritual coordinator to help you through end of life. You've got a social worker. You've also got volunteers that can come in and help uh, just with anything that you may need. Uh, it, it's a beautiful thing. And these are all services that are rendered to you. You've got now a doctor who oversees the care that's hospice specialized, and that's their practice. They know hospice. They know end of life to kind of help triage with medications and such. So that's the service team. Then you've got medications that can come out. Now, medications are now delivered to you. The hospice is in charge of now covering. There's some non-covered and then covered medications that the hospice will cover. They will review that with you and the medical director or the doctor that's overseeing the care with that hospice on all those medications. Those are all covered now, you know, underneath that hospice. The next thing is you've got a lot of supplies. So sometimes... Depending on what you need, if you need incontinence material, if you need uh, chucks, depends, wipes, gloves, things like that, the hospice should, should be able to cover that for you because they're paid that certain amount. Another part is DME. DME is durable medical equipment. That is hospital beds, uh, walkers, wheelchairs, uh, bedside tables, suction, anything you could think of, oxygen concentrators, those are all now covered under hospice. So what the hospice does is that every hospice, they will make a contract with a durable medical equipment company that specializes in hospice, and they will contract to send all that equipment to your house. And you get to pick which one you need, which one you need, which one you don't need. You don't have to get everything. You can tailor it towards the need of the patient. So all these services are now available for you. And so now what happens is as you as you kind of progress in hospice, if you get worse and worse and worse and your level of care gets more, there's more need for you, then the hospice can basically review and analyze to see if you meet certain thresholds. So you've got regular care, which is what we just talked about. Then you've got continuous care. Then you've got respite care. Then you've got GIP care. Those are the four levels of care that are all within hospice, but there has to be specific criteria that's met in order for you to qualify for those specific levels. So that's really hospice in a nutshell. There's so much more. I don't know if I made it under three minutes. I hope this helps you. If you like this, please like, subscribe, and there's more information on our channel everywhere. Hope this helps you. See you guys soon.